there's an infinite number of possible futures. If we do continue down the same path, then our future will probably unfold and look quite similar to our past. But at any one point, including now, you can decide to shift your reality and go down a different path where everything that you want is there waiting for you. Today's question is from Rajesh Naidu and the question is, what are you supposed to feel and do while waiting for your manifestation to come when there are so many situations that remind you of what you don't have? What are you supposed to feel and do? I like that Rajesh, I like that you have acknowledged that feeling is the secret and also taking action is a part of this process. What are you supposed to feel and do while waiting for your manifestation to come when there are so many situations that remind you of what you don't have? Okay, so the way, so instantly what I feel is that we may be forgetting temporarily that the current situation, what you currently don't have, is a manifestation from your past. The previous version of you, even like yesterday's you or last month's you or six months ago you or last year's you, their thoughts, their feelings, their beliefs, and their actions are the major part of the life that you're living today. Being someone who, who has a business in nutrition and also has a YouTube channel, I know that the work that I do, the action that I take on my business or on my YouTube channel, shows up three to six months after the action that I take. Because there is often, with a lot of things, a gestation period. If I really want to achieve a particular goal where it's not just a fluke, it's not just a spike, but it's like momentum which leads, leads me to a new level of success, growth, income in my business, I have discovered from my experience that it can take three to six months. Now, I'm just catching myself out here and realizing that if I want to, I could change that story and I could decide that as of now, everything is completely bigger and better than ever and I don't even have to wait three to six months, okay? But my point, my point is that if you're looking at your current reality and going, this is so distracting, you can look at your current reality you don't have to be blind to it. You don't have to cut off all your senses from it. You can acknowledge, okay, this reality is because of my past, is because of the stories I told myself or the thoughts or the beliefs that I had or the action that I did or didn't take in the past. So you can accept and embrace and view and witness and experience your current reality and don't let it be this thing that somehow makes you draw a conclusion that your future can't be different. That's the real issue, is when you look at your present reality and go, it's still not here yet, and this is telling me therefore that I could never have different. There's an infinite number of possible futures. If we do continue down the same path, then our future will probably unfold and look quite similar to our past. But at any one point, including now, you can decide to shift your reality and go down a different path where everything that you want is there waiting for you. So that's one part of the answer. The next part of the answer is how to feel, okay? So yesterday, I actually, and that's why I'm feeling inspired to answer this question today. Yesterday, I felt a real shift in how I felt about myself. I just decided that from now on, when using manifestation, and I'm, I'm not completely clear on still on the difference between the law of attraction and the law of assumption because I know that the lines have been hella blurred, especially in the YouTube space, okay? So I feel like a lot of the things that I used to call the law of attraction, now people are creating videos calling it the law of assumption, myself included. So the lines are blurred, okay? But one major difference that I'm getting from the law of assumption approach to manifestation is that instead of being like, oh, please universe, I ask if you can deliver this for me, thank you, your humble servant forever. Instead it's like, I assume that from now on, this is how the universe works for me. You're the boss now, okay? You always were, but it's about embodying a more powerful energy where you just assume this is how it's gonna be for me. This is how it's gonna work out for me. So that, if you decide that from now on, things are gonna work out in A, B, C, X, Y, Z, however you want it to work out for you, then, okay, then you snap out of that vision, that daydream or whatever, and you go, go about your day. You go and sit on the toilet, you go and wash the dishes. And then now, how are you going to do all of those everyday mundane things? 
I recommend that you do it as this powerful freaking goddess or god that you are, okay? As this being where you just know, mm -hmm, I now live in a reality and I now exist as a version of myself where things are always working out for me, where I just manifest things really quickly and easily, where anything that I want, I can have. Another thing I would say is that some things are some things when people get really specific, like when they want this one specific person to do something for them. I mean, it is possible. All of those things are possible. Don't get me wrong, okay? I have had experience where I've gone, this this person's gonna pick me or this thing's gonna happen and it's happened. So I'm kind of adjusting my top because I don't know whether, if it's gonna fall down. <laughs> but there's also been plenty of times in my life where, and maybe the vibration was wrong or whatever, but there've been plenty of times in my life where there was something that I wanted and then it didn't happen. So sometimes there are things that people choose that they want to manifest. When they're really specific, then what can kick in is a lot of feeling like you're not in control. If you're trying to get someone to choose you to do something, there's other people's free will at play. And I never like messing with that. I never like promoting methods or techniques where you're messing with other people's free will. So what I prefer to manifest are things where I really can understand that I am in full control of it. And Laura Eastman's question, hi Laura. My question is how do you get back on track? I'm struggling to think of something to manifest and I also get major limiting beliefs of manifesting money at my current eight till four job. My mind says you can't just pluck an extra 100 pounds or whatever out of nowhere. I feel I have an internal sabotage that won't go away. If I want to manifest a higher level of money, I feel completely responsible and completely in control of that. If you don't feel completely in control or completely responsible for the amount of money that you're able to earn because you are employed by a boss who says, you will be paid this much or because you're maybe um, under 18 and you feel like my parents will either give me this money or they won't give me this money. Now more than ever, we live in a world where you can bring in additional streams of income using the internet. So start a side hustle. So build an online business, eight till four. Wow, that's amazing. So eight till four is eight hours of your day. You could sleep for eight hours or you could sleep for six hours but let's say you could sleep for eight hours you could work at your job for eight hours that gives you another eight hours to make 24 hours in a day right eight hours sleep eight hours at your job another eight hours what are you going to do with those eight hours some of it you'll be spending time with family which is important some of it you'll be exercising some of it you'll be relaxing that could be four hours and you could still have another four hours a day Okay, to do what? Four hours a day, seven days a week, that's 28 hours that you could dedicate per week while still getting enough sleep, while still working a job for eight hours and still seeing family, friends and doing your household chores for four hours. It would still give you four hours a day. Doesn't that just open up so many possibilities to you? If you do some investigation, if you if you learn, like I teach my team, I teach everyone in my team, if I'm not trying to turn this into a sales pitch here, but if you do want to find out more about how my team and I generate income, you can apply below and I will send you more information that wasn't set up that way. You know, you asked a brilliant question and it's such a passion of mine. It's my nutrition business. That had a startup fee of 36 pounds to register, to partner with the company. And I got discounts. I started using the products. I started sharing and promoting those products on social media, which is free. I started sharing my health journey, which is free. I started to gain interest. I started to talk to people, which is free. I started to get customers who paid me money to, to be on the same products and be on the same nutrition plan as me. Right now, I'm sat at home recording a video. Yes, I'm recording it on a bit of a fancy camera now, but when I started my channel and got monetized, I was using the phone that I already had. So if you're using a phone to watch this video right now, you have a piece of equipment that could be making you money. So what I did with my YouTube channel was in my spare time, I recorded videos, I uploaded them for free to YouTube consistently, putting lots of value there out into the YouTube space. 
until I got monetized and then I started to make money. So right now, while you're watching this video, thank you. Your view is putting money in my bank. And it was free to start this channel. You know, I'm speaking from experience because all of the ways that I have made money and that I do make money are 100% within my control. And if you feel like you're not in control, I've just given you two examples and there are an infinite number of examples of ways that if you have internet, if you have a phone, and if you have the desire to do something about it, and if you don't let those voices in your head give you reasons why you can't do it, what is it that Jim Rohn says? If you want it badly enough, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. If you're blessed and privileged enough to live in a part of the world where you have access to internet and a mobile phone, then there is so many ways that you could start generating additional income streams for yourself. Even if it means going to the university of YouTube and learning from any of the people who are constantly sharing different ways to generate income or to do anything online. And if there's a person who's got the desire to change their situation by taking aligned action and also, you know, allowing themselves to believe that someone like them can change, can have different, can have better, you are ready, you can do it. Where there's a will, there's a way. We've never had more opportunities than ever before on this planet. That's not to say that there won't be difficult times. That's not to say that you won't feel like giving up sometimes. It's not to say that, you know, it might be slow at first, but that is to say that there are possibilities. And for those who grab opportunities and go for it and do their research and figure out ways to make it happen and decide that someone like them can do it, if you're open like that, then there are possibilities all around you and you can do it. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring my bell so that you never miss another video. Until next time, <laughs> bye.